Okay, today I am going to be sorting through seconds pins. I have a batch of pins that just came in and I am going to show you the process that I use to sort through and determine what are seconds grade pins or imperfect pins. All pins are still um, created by human beings. There's a lot of machining to it. Uh, there's a lot of automation, but there are still humans that make these things. And with that come imperfections. Also, I mean, even machines can be imperfect. So um, it's completely common and totally normal to have certain pins or have some pins in your batch not be perfect. That's totally normal. If you get a ton, then that's a problem. So I am going to show you how to sort through your seconds, what I consider to be flawed pins, and um, you can check out this video about kind of what to do and second sales and things like that. Um, but And you can also see me sort through another batch of pins in this studio vlog. I do a little bit of that, but I wanted to show you kind of my exact process of how I go through pins and uh, what I consider to be a seconds pin. It's not the same for everybody. <laughs> um, some people are way more pickier than, are way pickier than me. <laughs> and some people um, are not and they'll let just anything go through. <laughs> so it really depends on you, what you're comfortable with, but I wanna show you how I do it. So hopefully it will help you do it more quickly. So. I have in front of me these, they're all still individually wrapped, um, which is how they come. You can ask to have less plastic be you, so I think I'm gonna do that soon. Um, I have another bin where I put felt down here, so the pins have kind of a soft place to land. And I have a little <laughs> trash bag, <laughs> um, and this is what I put my uh, plastic bags in so I can recycle them later. I also have, a little jar of backings so I'll put the backings in and I have this cool little gadget from oh I'll link them down below I forget their name they're actually based in Austin too it starts with a G oh. anyway look down below and you will see but this little doodad is really cool because it helps you take the backings off of your pin um, so let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be showing you some close-ups just so you can see. Oh, here's an example of um, a close-up. I've never used two cameras at the same time before. <laughs> so it's exciting. Um, but yeah, just so you can see what I deem as a second and we'll go through this together. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up and back so you can kind of see what I'm doing overhead and I will talk you through it as well. Okay, let's do it. Hi. <laughs> okay. So, this is probably gonna be a little bit boring. But you can see this one here. It's a little bit, looks almost recessed right here. So I'm actually going to take um, a little push pin and try and scooch that metal out because sometimes the metal is soft enough that you can do that. Okay, well, I can't get that out. You see, you can see here. There's a little bit right here that's not supposed to be recessed. That right there is supposed to be cut out. So I'm going to set it aside and then see if I care about it later. <laughs> Watch this. What? It just puts it right in there. I love it. Okay, so this one, if you could see, there's a little dot kind of right here on the very top and I don't like it won't come off it's in the metal that is a second out of here so you can see I only spend a couple seconds looking at these 
I think if a flaw isn't going to jump out at me in about five seconds, then no one's really going to notice, honestly. I have only had, I think, twice, two times in the last, like, three years that I have done pins, have I had people come back and email me about it. And usually, they're super nice, and I'm happy to either give them a discount to make it a seconds grade or send out a replacement. Because a happy customer is better than anything in the world. And this isn't the last time I'm going to be checking them. So when I package them, when I package them in their, in the backing cards, um, I'll also be taking a look. And I always take a look before I ship them out as well. So then if I see something at the very end stage, then I'm like, dang it. Sometimes you can get some of the stuff off. Um, okay, here's a good example. If you look here, right here in the horn inside, you can see how there's some plating missing. You see that? There it is. Yeah, it's ugly and I don't like it. So that is a second for sure. So right now I've got like five in the maybe pile and two in the definitely no. And I definitely think, ooh, two in a row. If you look really closely on this leg, this leg has a little discoloration there that I can't do anything about and I don't like it. So that's going in the pile. So I like to have a pile that I know is definitely not okay. I trust myself to know that that certain pile is not okay, 100%, no way. And then um, I know I don't have to go back and look through that again. So I'll have 100% no's and then a maybe pile. And the maybe pile I go through and I can usually take some stuff out of that and I'll feel better about it later on. Because honestly, a little bit of recessed metal in that teeny tiny little space is not a big deal and I'll probably end up putting all of them in there because it doesn't look bad. It still looks nice. It's just filled metal. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these back in because it really does not matter. The only person who knows is me and you know. <laughs> um, but people use recessed metal all the time and I am not that concerned with it. Except maybe this one. Nope, okay. I think a lot of people overthink things. And I think they get a little too picky. Because if I have only had a couple of instances of people coming back saying that they got a second, and I have shipped like thousands of pins, I think you're going to be okay. Anything that's glaring, you'll definitely pick up on really quickly. And then you won't have to worry about it anymore. And then you can have a second sale. And those are super fun. Ooh! Turks! Get out of here! Go. Okay, scoot, scoot. Lord. Get out of here, cat. And another tip, once you get started, you'll start to see where the common flaws are in your pins so you'll know what to look for so I'm knowing to check 
in this teeny tiny spot here and in the horn because it seems like some of the um, gold finish isn't making it into the little horn area. That could be where they kind of dipped it because they will, sometimes they'll wrap a little wire around and dip. Sometimes um, it doesn't get in the solution, that spot where the wire is. This one, I don't like how uneven the screen printing is right there. See how it kind of pops out? Um, I just don't think it looks very smooth, so I'm gonna toss that one. Then the second slide. Ooh. All right, this one. All right. So this one, look at that mess. There's all kinds of mess up there. Not cute, 100% second. Definitely in the discard pile. Ooh. There's one with a bad tummy. Yeah. No good. Okay, so now I have a bin that's ready to be packaged, and I have a pile of seconds that I am now going to put onto recycled packaging. So all my old packaging, instead of um, throwing it away or recycling it, I keep it in a bin, like you saw in my studio tour uh, last week, and I am going to slap it on that and then toss it in my uh, second stuff. So I have one bin that's just kind of sitting and ready for seconds. Since I currently have a second sale up right now, I am just going to count these and add these back to the uh, second sale. So if anyone wants to buy them right at this moment, they can. Um, so I will link to that down below as well. I don't have seconds available all of the time. So uh, be sure to check back um, and follow me on Instagram so you know when that happens. But yeah. So that is kind of how I do seconds. I mainly look for um, missing finish on the sides. That seems to be a common issue. And um, discoloration of enamel. There can also be underfilling, which there wasn't any on that. There can be kind of flaws in the screen printing. I had a couple of that, which is like it happens. Um, and yeah, those are kind of the main things. You can check out the seconds um, video I did before that shows some common issues with hard and soft enamel but yeah that's exactly how I sort my seconds I really hope this is helpful for you um leave me a is there a reindeer emoji I don't know I keep asking for Christmas emojis because I'm filming this like quasi Christmas time <laughs> um it's November but yeah leave me a um a, a Christmas emoji <laughs> if this was helpful to you and uh, be sure to share it with your other pin maker friends and like and subscribe and all that stuff i will have more stuff for you um in the following weeks but if you want to kind of learn how to start your own enamel pin business i have a quick checklist of kind of how to start so you can download that below it's really great it's got all of the basics and things you need to start out with so download that it's a really good kind of starting place if you want to start making enamel pins and i've also got a playlist full of videos like this um, about how to make enamel pins so check that out too and i will see you next week